most important for our artists, for ourselves, for our audience, and most important of all, for those who were alone and suffering the most in these difficult times, the elderly and the community of Holocaust survivors. Our decision was to bring the music and the concerts to them in their homes. The concerts were broadcast live and free of charge from the JMC studio direct to the homes of our audience wherever they were. There was no audience, uh, only streaming, which was very strange because you never know who's on the other side of the camera. But it was quite astonishing how much feedback we received. For the Israeli musicians, too, it was a message of hope and a light at the end of the tunnel, in the midst of the cultural wilderness in which we were living. The artists came to our studio at the JMC, performing live, so that for a moment it was possible to put Corona behind us and reconnect with the music which we all love so much. This time, culture is so important. I think it was a wonderful idea to broadcast these concerts in the internet and uh, I enjoyed all the concerts I heard. I am quite amazed how quickly uh, the center retooled itself for, for the pandemic and, and it's really the hub of Israeli music right now. Generous support for the project came from the Jerusalem Foundation, enabling us to continue broadcasting regularly every week. Gradually, we have been permitted to open the concert hall to our audience, initially a small gathering and now already on a larger scale. Everybody has been missing the concerts, the live music, going out for an evening to hear music. Thank you.